some new Spro Bucktail Jigs. It's different than ones I've ever seen, but it's new stuff out, and these guys are looking mighty fine. And the difference between these and the traditional Spro Bucktail Jigs is they have these long different types of feathers in them. Gives it more of like a squid type look, and um, I'm pretty sure they're gonna catch Kobe. So we're gonna test them out today, but it's a little early for the Kobe to be running. We caught one the other day, um, but I'm very excited about these Bro Spro jigs, and I hope that um, that you'll see how productive they are. And then they're definitely something I would have in my tackle box if I was coming out here bottom fishing or fishing for grouper. And Connor's got a good fish on. Fish on. Might have a cobia on. Yep. No cobia. Hold on, hold on. Keep him. Keep him right there. Keep him right there. Hold on. Let me get his frog jig out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep him on. Keep him on. Keep him on. <laughs> hey, Chase, like, I told you. I told you it'd work. Cobia like mine. They end up just eating whatever they see. So it's good to always keep one in the water so there's one around. Where'd you put that knife at, Connor? Oh, right here, right here, right here. Tying her on. The new power jig is going on. This time me a traditional uni knot. It's one of a quick, easy knot to tie. Cinch it up before you slide it down. We got that on there. We'll cut the tag in off. She's ready to go. I'm about to show you these Spro jigs. Once again, they work. Ready? Going in the water. I'm trying to get you a close up demonstration with how they work. So we'll get a little cast out there since it's a, it was a little school that came up with Connors. And what you want to do with these sprogs, especially these small ones, let it sink down and don't have your drag too tight for when you get a hook set. So what you want to do is you just kind of want to let it sink to the bottom and just bounce it around. You want to make it chase after it. Jig doing the action. Oh, 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 oh we're coming up here, boys. This actually feels like a stud. Is it a good one? Yeah. It's a good one, boys. Woo! <laughs> the mama was with the baby. Maybe. I don't know. He's kind of coming up now. Oh, he's a little bit bigger, but he's deeper, but he's coming. Woo! Got him on the spro! There we mine. Quick catch and release. Drop your back down in. real dark because the water is real dark but there's that spro got him they're being a little picky but you munched on it son no question about that it felt like he is five times the size when he hit it all right there's the first kobe on the spro jig got him that's proof those spro jigs work I wouldn't be out here without them, so definitely consider getting some at the local tackle store. Sea Hag definitely has a good supply, but we're gonna get some good pictures of this guy. 
gonna let him go back and hopefully one day we'll catch him when he's a lot older and it'll make the customer very happy because it's a great eating fish but here Him mad a little bit. Hit it one time, we'll see if he'll come back for it. So, whenever you pull up to a spot, and we just seen some spade fish tailing out the back. And if you're at any spot or out here anywhere on the water, if you ever see spade fish on the surface or at any one of your spots, there's probably a 98% chance that they're on some kind of wreck or some kind of this giant structure. And they also let you know if you're really close to the spot because they don't move far away from the spot too. So. Knowing that I've seen the spade fish literally right off the back of the motor means that we are pretty much right on top of the wreck. Um, but that's a good tip to know when you're out here fishing because ain't a little benefit like that or if you see some spade fish when you're running, you never know. Turn around and come back and it might be a wreck that you don't know or just some kind of giant bottom and you may end up finding some cobia on it. So that's a good tip and just keep that in mind when you're out here in the water. So it's the fall season and the reason why we're doing the video about the spro jigs and the cobia is mainly this is the perfect time of year for cobia. We caught some not but maybe a couple weeks ago that were very big out deep and this time of year with the weather changing it's definitely a really good time of the year to fish offshore. Um, some of the other fish like grouper and stuff. They're a little bit slow right now because they just went through the whole summertime of just getting absolutely beat by everybody out here. And all the boats are out here trying to catch for the snapper too. So as the weather cools down more, you'll see more grouper and you'll catch more grouper. Um, but this time of year is mainly we're focusing on this, the different types of snappers and trying to catch amberjack and cobia. So today, I hope we kind of just showed you guys a little bit about how to catch cobia, um, but mainly it's to really promote these jigs. They're very good. It's a new jig that they have out, and tend to work. And we just showed you how they work. But my boy Connor thought about the idea, thought about coming out here catching his cobia, and he wasn't lying. He's a good captain. Oh yeah, I like to come out here on calm days. I have a 24 foot Carolina skiff and I like to come out here on calm days and put people on cobia and it's just awesome seeing the people's faces after they get done catching a fish of a lifetime. And it's not a far run and it's also really fun once you get into them. Sounds good. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope this video encourages you to get a spro jig before you go out. The Sea Hag Marina carries plenty of them. So if you're going out to Hatchie and you're wondering what kind of bait or what kind of jigs to buy, get you a spro jig and get you their newest and baddest jig that has the upgraded hook and the upgraded feathers. So thank you guys for watching again and all the links to these jigs and to the location stuff from where we're at of will be down below this video. But thank you guys for watching. Feel free to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and this YouTube channel. And thank you guys for watching and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget your spro jigs, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we out.